Hey there, this is Matthias from Interactive Asia. In the next couple of minutes, I want to explain you how to set up and calibrate OptiTuyo. OptiTuyo is an interactive software which you can use to transform any flat surface into a multi-touch screen or into an interactive area. All you need for our solution is a leader sensor and our software OptiTuyo. So in that case, we have a Hokuyo sensor here on the floor and we have already a little basic setup here. So as you can see, once I touch here my projection or the wall, we get already some touch points here from OptiTuyo. So in the next step, I want to show you how easy it is to set up OptiTuyo. Actually, you just need three steps. You have to make sure that your sensor is connected to the computer which is running OptiTuyo. The second step is you have to set up the dimension of the screen, the position. I will show you that very soon. And the last step is you have to set up your output. That's all. So let's go to the setup. So OptiTuyo don't need an installation procedure. So the only thing what you need to do, you just have to start the OptiTuyo calibration application. So we have the OptiTuyo calibration application and we also have the OptiTuyo server, which you use later to start your saved configuration file, which you are doing with the OptiTuyo calibration. So let's open OptiTuyo. Once you open OptiTuyo, you get presented with the user interface from OptiTuyo. Here we have a normal standard Windows menu bar where you can load and save existing files, calibration files. Under help, you can install the license and you can view the license. Then you have here that black area, that's our preview where you can see in real time the data, what the sensor is sensing, what the sensor is seeing. Then we have here our main global settings tab where you can change the language, for example. So under the devices tabs, you can add your sensors. For now, we support Leutze, Hokuyo and some six sensors. Here you later on, you also can start and stop your sensor. Under the screens tab, you can add your screen where you can set up then the dimensions and under the output tab, you can add your output. For now, we are supporting Tuyo, mouse and Windows Touch. The last one is experimental, which is not interesting for most of our clients. So that's three steps, what we have to do now. First, we have to add a sensor. So we go to the devices tab, we go to add, and now we know we are using a Hokuyo URG. So we click that. Like I said, make sure that the IP and network configuration is working correctly. You can check that with a ping test. When everything is okay and you added your sensor, you can go to the info button and then you get a pop-up window which gives you the serial number of the connected sensor. So if you get that serial number, then you can make sure that the sensor is connected correctly. So let me make this window a little bit bigger and then let's start the sensor. This blue area represents what the sensor is seeing. So if I go now here to my wall and I touch here inside, then we can see the shadows of my hand now, even two hands. In the next step, I have to set up my screen. So let's go to the screens tab and add a screen. Here I have to set up now the size of my screen. Yeah? In that case, I want to make exactly the size of that projection area. Yeah? So from here all the way down to here. This is the area what I want to make interactive now. So the only thing I have to do, I can use a tape or I can do it with, with, uh, with some friends. And then I just have to set up that dimensions. In that case, I know the dimensions already because we had a little bit of training before. So let's say 1,000, 1 1.8 meter and 950. Now we can see we have our screen here. But like I said, this is now the bottom of my screen. Uh, so that means I have to bring that screen up now. I can do that with our offset X and Y. In that case, I bring the screen a little bit more up. That's all right. That's the X. That's the wrong one. Let's go to Y. Let's put it up 950. And maybe now my friend Kiao can help me quickly. Exactly. So Kiao is putting his finger down there. That's the shadow from Kiao's finger. So if I check here from left to right, you can see we have now one little issue to fix because the sensor is mirrored. Yeah? So we have also that option to flip by X or Y axis. So I go back to my devices tab and just flip the sensor over the X axis. And now we can see we are in the right position. So last step, what I need to do. So Kiao's finger is there and I have to bring now my screen to Kiao's finger because this have to match the bottom left corner of the projection. So let's do that. 
Let's do that in the screen section. We can actually do that, the offset we can do in the screen section as well as in the devices tab. Yeah, so in the devices tab, we also have offset. That actually doesn't matter which offset you're using. So let's move that. Let's see, about 200, a little bit more. Let's bring it more down. We also can fine adjust the sensors if you hover over the settings and you scroll your mouse wheel. So that seems pretty good already. Let me check the right corner. I think maybe we can make it a little bit bigger, the screen. Let's make it a bit bigger. In the x-axis, let's say 190. Of course, this is all now a little bit fine-tuning. You can use as much time as you want to fine-tune that. So this looks pretty good now. The next step, what we have to do, once we created our screen, we have to go back to our Devices tab and add the screen to our device. That's down here. The very last step, we have to define our output. For now, we are supporting Tuyo, Mouse and Windows Touch. In this case, I want to use the mouse output, so I add a mouse output, and now we should be ready to go. So in this case, our output should work. So as you can see, let me do that from that side. As you can see, now I can control my mouse pointer. So as you saw already, the setup is not complicated. It's very simple. Make sure the sensor is connected correctly, and then go through the Optitudio steps, set up your screen, give your outputs, make the fine tuning, and you're ready to go. It's very easy. You can also find more information on our website under interactive-asia.com or just Google for Optituyo. Thank you. Bye-bye.